Welcome back. Daily Dose, still Wednesday, February 22nd, 2017. Last I checked, I'm still here, Levy. And the most popular sport in the world is a passion for billions, and the lines between sports, identity, and politics can easily blur. What am I talking about, right? I'm talking about, well, should I say football or soccer? That's something we're going to discuss very shortly. But I'm talking about what many people around the world know as football and others refer to as soccer. And in 2013, when the favorite team of right-wing Jewish Israeli nationalists, Beitar Jerusalem, or Beitar Yerushalayim as we know them here, took on two Chechen Muslim players, those lines fell apart as the team, fans, and the country grappled with the reality around them. These events were documented in Maya Zinstein's film. Forever Pure, which has been making the festival circuit successfully so around the world, picking up accolades and awards. Let's first start by seeing a clip, a piece of that trailer of Forever Pure, and then meet the director, a very courageous woman herself. I <laughs> להגיד לכם רק שתי מילים. יאללה ביתה! הרוב מתפללים. ביתה ירושלים. מי הכי קדושה, איך אפשר שלא? נולדים עם זה. וגם מי שלא, זה מושרש בו במועדון. צעד הרבה יותר משמעותי למועדון של ביתר ירושלים מאשר ההישגים המקצועיים של כל העולה כולה. Well, with me in studio, the director herself, Maya Zinstein. Thank you. Am I pronouncing your name right? Yes. Yeah, thank you, you so much for being here. Do you call it soccer? Do you call it football? Let's get that out of the way immediately. Well, we can call it football. We can call it soccer. Okay. Um, when it comes to Betar Yerushalayim, it's very hard to explain to overseas viewers how, oh my God, how incredibly passionate, but also very right wing their, you know, their, um, uh, their core, hardcore fan base is, in fact, like some of the people on the staff of the show are fans. What made you, and let me say this th this way, <laughs> this petite, gorgeous <laughs> young woman <laughs> who I envision, I'm going to say something incredibly <laughs> controversial, you know, doing a film about art, um, uh, <laughs> but no, what, what possessed you to go into Bataille, which I'm hardcore, and profile two Muslim players who I'm assuming are coming out alive at the end of that film, okay, yes. in Beitar Yerushalayim. What, how did you get to the story? So actually, I came to this story by accident. I'm also a journalist, and I've been asked by the Isla Israeli television uh, to film a story about the two Chechens when they arrived. Right. So I was the first person that they met when they landed here, and uh, I spent with the club four days, and I has not, well, I love football, but I had nothing to do with this. Uh, <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Get, yeah, I love yeah. football. Okay. It's a Thank great you. game. It's Come a great on. game. It's a bunch of I guys think, running on the field. Exactly. Okay. And okay. I think okay. it's the best game in the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I spent the first four days and we saw in the clip uh, this short part of how, like, how they were. Uh, uh, how how these four days uh, went right. and for these for yeah. these two church and players yeah exactly and uh, after four days the story has been shown on the television but I understood that the real story has just begun because I knew that they're going to stay so I came to the chairman and I told him listen you're doing here something amazing I think a film should be made about it and he said okay do you have anyone in mind I said <laughs> myself <laughs> uh, <laughs> no but really to see from so close this hate. 
I couldn't understand. That you had unprecedented access, didn't you? Yes. How, how, I mean, they let you, what, be there every day, follow them, be on them? Well, you know, I'm always saying that you're not getting access, you're taking yes. the access. <laughs> Spoken as a true journalist, thank exactly. you, in this day and age, Exactly, right? you know yes. exactly what I'm talking completely. about. <laughs> yes, okay. So, yeah, I got this first okay from the chairman, but very... Um, quite quickly understood that the fact that I can come in into the club doesn't, doesn't mean, mean that, that I can, can actually in film in the club. That exactly. I can actually film, film in, the in the club. club. So it was a quite yeah. a long process um, to show them that I'm going with them and to be very persistent. Very, very persistent. And I want us to take a look at a short clip. I hope it's short enough for us to pick up on this. It's a short clip from within this film. And that is the reaction of the crowd of Vital Jerusalem after one of the Chechen Muslim players, I believe, scores a goal. Let's take a look. Oh, no, <laughs> Your take on the fans of this um, uh, of this um, uh, soccer, um, uh, you know, of this soccer group, and the take on what is happening in that group right now. I mean, I'm I'm, re I'm referring you to the hate. How much hate did you? Well, I think it's. I think you tried to explain in the beginning, and and I think you're very right on the fact that it's really hard to explain. Uh, this club, and I think it's hard to explain because it's actually uh, not not talks a, a lot about football, but about their identity of the people. This club representing for so many people in Israel, their uh, who they are, they, their political views, a national identity almost. Oh yes, yes, yeah. it, yes. It's a very, it's a very. Na I think uh, the the national feelings. It's a, it's a big part of this club. And of course, when someone tries to change your identity, the reaction of the fans. Thank you very much. We don't want to change. And I think that's one of the main problems of this club, that part of their identity beca became during the years. And this club has been established in, in 36, so it's 80 years of identity of non-Muslim club. And, and, and I guess... In, in the holy city of Jerusalem. I mean, exactly. That, that of all course, the, of uh, course. It has all the... the, the you this know, the, that story has it. all the... Yeah. Like, right. All now, the ingredients of being yeah, a good I don't want one. you to tell me about those players. Did they stay in Israel? No, no, no. They left just after uh, uh, this season. Uh, the church and uh, Muslim yeah, players. Yeah, yeah. And actually, the end of this uh, film is when I started to film yes, it. Yes, please. When I started to film it, I, I was sure that it's going to be a happy end film. Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, the, the football uh, losing in this film because at the end, uh, this small extreme hope. core. Yeah. Oh, sorry, did did get its way. Uh, no, the core, the, the main core, that the, ex the extreme core, uh, they got the power they and they the won. Power. They got the power. Uh, a remarkable film. It is called, the film is called Forever Pure. Thank you very much. The film is called Forever Pure. It will be shown this evening in Israel on Yes Stucco, of course, also throughout the United States in May on PBS. I urge you to see it. It's really remarkable access to the game of soccer in the holy city of Jerusalem. We'll be right back. <laughs>